Hello guys, this is Sammy from SharePoint. In this video, I will show you how you can install SharePoint on your Office 365 environment. I assume that you have submitted the trial request form and in the tenant URL, this is the tenant I'm going to use right now. This is the tenant I used to submit my trial request. And this is the same tenant I will be using to install SharePoint. And if I go here, this is a classic site, SharePoint site collection, and that's the tenant. This is how you can get the tenant. And this is another site on the same tenant, but this is a modern site. So after this, after the end of this video, we, you will be able to use SharePoint on both of these sites and all the sites in your Office 365 environment. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is to download the latest version of SharePoint SPFX from SharePoint website. So that's the download page and I will go and click download. It will download the latest version. I will open it, extract the file. This is the package I need now to upload to a catalog. So that's the first step. Let's go to our tenant. And from here, we go to central admin, to admin center. And then from here, we go to SharePoint Admin Center. You need to have permission to access SharePoint Admin Center. After that, we go to Apps. And from Apps, we go to App Catalog. Now, from on this tenant, we never set up any App Catalog before. So let's set up a new App Catalog site. So let's click OK. The title of the app, we call it app. And the same thing for you right here. Admin, we put the admin or who is the user we're going to admin or to manage this site and they have a permission to upload other apps. So in this case, I will just use the admin. Let's click OK. And now SharePoint is creating the new app catalog site. So it's going to take a couple of minutes until it's finished. So now the app catalog site collection has been created. So now I go to apps, to app catalog, and it should open the app catalog site collection. If it didn't open the app catalog site collection, then it might need some more time to finish the provisioning. So refresh the page and you should see the site collection like this. Now let's go to apps for SharePoint. And that's the place where we should upload short, the latest version of SharePoint SPFX. So let's click Upload. And from here, we choose the file, download. So you choose, don't choose the zip file, guys. Extract it and upload the exact same package uh, as you see, if you can see here. Click Open and click OK. It's going to upload the app and it's also going to ask you to deploy it. Now, deployment is not going to install SharePoint anywhere. It's just going to install and get the latest scripts and files from our global CDN network. Click Deploy. And once the deploy has been finished, to verify that deployment has been successful, you should see here from SharePoint SPFX, you should see Deployed Yes. If uh, for any reason you see that Deployed No, then you need to click on the app again and then go to Files from here and choose deploy, click deploy again, try to redeploy it again. You should see deployed, yes. So now the app has been uploaded to the app catalog and it's ready to be added to all your SharePoint sites and site collections. If you want to install SharePoint on classic SharePoint site collections like uh, this one, then before you can do that, you need to enable scripting capabilities. However, if you want to install and use SharePoint only on modern SharePoint, you can skip the step of enable scripting capabilities. But for this video, I will show you how you can enable scripting capabilities for classic SharePoint. So you go from here and then you go to admin and then you go to SharePoint admin. And from here you go to settings and you scroll down to where it says uh, custom script and you make sure that it's you enable this option and also you enable the second option and you click OK. This effect 
this change might take up to 24 hours to take impact. So you, if you want to use SharePoint on classic sites, after you enable scripts on both of uh, the self, uh, the personal sites and the self-service created sites, you need to wait for 24 hours before this effect get, uh, com uh, get uh, completed. And by doing this, you're going to enable scripting capabilities on all classic SharePoint sites in the time. Now, if you don't want to do that, you want to enable scripting capabilities on one site, for example, or you don't want to wait for 24 hours, then you can enable scripting capabilities using PowerShell. And there is an article in our support site called Enable Scripting Capabilities with PowerShell, step by step to help you out how to enable scripting capabilities on a particular site. You don't want to wait for 24 hours. Also, there are cases where you need to enable scripting capabilities on modern sites. So the only way to enable scripting capabilities on modern sites is using PowerShell. Why you need to enable scripting capabilities on modern sites? It's because on modern sites, you can have both classic and modern SharePoint pages. So if you want to use our product on classic pages that are on modern sites, you need also to enable scripting capabilities using PowerShell. A lot of stuff here, but this is like um, how SharePoint is where we have like modern and classic SharePoint into the same site. So this is your, uh, this is the solution from here. So now I'm going to show you how we can install SharePoint on this site collection. It's a classic SharePoint site collection. So the first thing, let's go to site content. And from here, this is the modern experience. So you click in new, click app from here. Or in the classic SharePoint experience, you click on Add an App. After that, you go to Apps from, organi from your organization, and then you will see SharePoint SPFX. You click on it, and it will take you back to the site uh, to the site content. Now we have to wait for a couple of minutes while the app is being added in the site. Now we refresh the page and we can see that SharePoint SPFX is now, uh, has been completed. It's now added to the site content. And we can see also there is another app called SharePoint SPFX installed now. So we click on this app and it will redirect you to SharePoint dashboard. So that's the dashboard. And from here you can see the version we are installing right now. So let's go now to SharePoint to the installation. Now you will uh, see the, this is the installation page. So the first option, it will ask you to install SharePoint for classic pages. Now, because we are on a classic site, so yes, we want to install SharePoint on classic pages and also for modern pages. Now, because we are in the root site of the site collection, and that's where we recommend that you guys add SharePoint app, you add it to the root site of the site collection and you enable site scope installation. So this is going to install SharePoint on the site collection entirely. On the root site and all the sub-sites and even the new sites, sub-sites you are going to create within this site collection. So this is recommended. So let's click install. Congratulations, the installation completed successfully and now SharePoint is installed on this site collection and it will work on all sites and subsites within this site collection and also it will work on both classic and modern pages. Now sometimes you might see this um, error message or this error message about the licensing. So if you got your trial already, you just click on the activate button here. It will take you to the licensing page and all you have to do is to click activate. So that's it, it will activate the trial on our, uh, on our tenant. So as we can see from here, SharePoint is um, installed and the trial is, uh, the license is active. Uh, let's go back. This is the main SharePoint dashboard where you can access the licensing again and you can access the installation again. Let's go to the site content. This is how uh, SharePoint will appear after successfully being installed. We have SharePoint SPFX and we have also SharePoint dashboard to access the dashboard again. And on the modern experience, 
This is how it will uh, look as well. This is SharePoint dashboard and SharePoint SPFX. That's it guys, we are done with the installation. In the next video, I will give you a demonstration on how to use SharePoint, page builder, theme builder, the copy and paste from demos.sharepoint.com and much more. Thank you very much.